Hi, um, so I'm Charlotte. Um, you may have seen me already, you may not, I don't know. Um, I am working with a, a brilliant organisation called Kickoff at Three, uh, run by uh, a very entertaining and um, dynamic chap called Michael Wallace. Um, and we, um, he's been organising various um, sports and physical and um, arts, creative music campaigns for um, kick off at three to encourage um, kids into sport, um, trying to um, get them more active, uh, sociable, almost as a hopefully away from um, gang crime and culture um, and just give them opportunities that they perhaps wouldn't have had otherwise um, uh, and encourage them to think out you know beyond perhaps the parameters that they are normally within um, and just encourage them give them the support that they would need um, to do that uh, and one of the things that um, I'm trying to help with is uh, running a new campaign called Swim Off at Three um, so my background is, um, although I've been in London for many years, uh, originally from Gloucestershire, um, um, born and bred um, in Cheltenham and um, was very uh, encouraged at a very young age by my parents to do lots of different sports, do lots of different training. Um, we were encouraged to do lots of swimming. Um, we, we were very, very lucky. We had horses, so we did something called tetrathlon, which was running, riding, shooting, and swimming. Um, we did a lot of sport at school, netball, hockey, um, tennis, rounders, etc. cetera. Um, and outside of school, we did, obviously, the riding, um, gymnastics, and uh, swimming. Um, and over the years, so sort of, as you get in your teens and stuff, and they, they sometimes drop off a bit. Coming to London and, and being more active down in London and actually um, having children and starting a family here. Um, one of the things that we def definitely wanted to continue was our physical wellness and our mental wellness. Um, and through that, we did lots of sport, um, both myself and my husband. And... Um, uh, I even did um, synchronised swimming as a kid, so I was sort of shifted from normal galas, normal speed swimming, um, into synchronised swimming, so I've sort of done lots of swimming, varying sort of capacities. So, um, so a few years ago, a friend of mine got me back into um, swimming, but actually into triathlons. Um, even though I'm not a massive fat fan of running, <laughs> I don't mind swimming and I don't mind cycling. So, you know, from, from our point of view, I had to have a, an immovable target, ideally with a fear factor element that I forced me to do it. Um, and actually one of the good things about that was, so I took that up in, I think I started those in about 2013. And um, at which point I obviously had already had two children. Um, and, and doing all this physical activity and exercise has sort of, I think, um, encouraged our children to keep up with sport. Uh, it's good for their mental health, their, their physical well-being. Um, and actually from that, in working with, um, um, and also they both do football, so which is the, the link with the kickoff at three, uh, and also sort of seeing all the tweets, etc., that Michael's been putting out for the kickoff at three campaign, as both daughters both play football as well. And actually, my husband coaches my our eldest daughter's team, which is always entertaining after training. <laughs> it depends depend how well it's gone. Um, you know, I've got encouraged to help with just really volunteering a bit of time of just, you know, retweeting on social media, the, the campaigns that they've been doing, just because I thought it's brilliant. It's a brilliant campaign. It's brilliant challenges that they've come up with, you know, encouraging and engaging kids from, you know, diverse backgrounds into sport, um, great for team building as well. Um, and also breaking down barriers that perhaps, you know, were there previously that hopefully won't be there going forward. Um, and just, you know, encouraging better rapport between um, children and, and adults and, and 
in, in that particular instance the police as well so which has been great and I thought that was a uh, you know a commendable um, organization and an amazing effort and an achievement that they've you know run this out nationally as well um, so obviously sort of from a volunteering point of view and from a fundraising point of view I've done um, the runoff at three challenge, the cycle off at three challenge for him as well, um, which is great for me because it means I, you know, it's a double whammy because I, you know, fundraise and, um, you know, do the challenges for, for their organisation and I keep fit as well, <laughs> even more. So, and get the kids involved too. So, you know, they've done some of the runoff at three. Um, so, from that, we sort of started sort of talking about the um, Swim Off at Three Challenge. And I sort of did a little bit of research into it, literally not loads, but I've done a bit of research into it and noted that um, according to Swim England figures, 90% of black and mixed race adults don't swim. And 85% 85, 85 of black and mixed race kids don't swim. And I'm not quite sure if that is don't swim at all, or don't swim regularly, um, or you know can't swim. But whichever sort of category that covers, I still think that's a horrendous sort of statistic, um, and definitely want something to encourage them to to get involved in, because you know you don't actually need that much kit for for swimming. Um, obviously access to a pool, a swimming costume and ideally a pair of goggles and that's kind of it and a towel <laughs> is usually helpful. Um, so, you know, I love swimming. It's my go-to sport when I'm, you know, just doing my own thing as well. Um, and so, and also, of course, with swimming, one, you know, I, I see a lot of disabled people swimming, you know, they enjoy it. They, they get a lot of, a lot of enjoyment out of it it's a life-saving skill it means that kids if they go on holiday they can jump in the pool and they're safe generally um you know and and also there's a lot it, it covers a lot older group age range as well so you see a lot of older people and oaps etc in the pools is that an opc term oaps <laughs> um older generation people in the pool it's a sport you can do up until you know into your 80s 90s whatever uh, you know and because it's not load bearing it's not weight bearing but it's brilliant overall exercise so you know i was hoping that doing the Swim Fit 3 Challenge would combine those two things, is getting a much more diverse community into the pool. Um, and, you know, encouraging people to, to think that this is an activity I can do well into my, you know, later years as well. So, yeah, so we're, we're hopefully running that in the summer. Um, we're at the sort of very early stages, the, you know, the early stages of organising that and coming up with it. And we've got a nice, brilliant um, committee, should I say, um, in the background looking after that. I've got some notes to send out from our meeting. So, um, yeah, it's very much a watch this space. Hopefully get more people involved. Hopefully get more of their organising bodies involved as well. Like, um, there's the Black British Swimming Association. There's Swim. British Swimming Association, Swim England, Sport England, um, for want of four, and you know, there's, you know, I grew up with the likes of Duncan Gucci, for example, um, and then obviously recent characters like Adam Peaty, who apparently, as far as I remember, hated swimming and was scared of water when he was a kid. So he's gone from that to, you know, multi uh, Olympian. Um, over probably a fairly short period of time um it'd be great to get you know these characters and also you know i think there's one british female black olympic swimmer at the moment almost olympic swimmer, you know going forward to the olympics uh, alice deering you know so getting if we could get one or two kids involved that would be great if we can get you know, more kids throughout the, the country with a more, you know, diverse background into swimming, that's something that they can do that, you know, they shouldn't be worried about, you know, and then they can do it much later on into life, then, you know, that would be great. So that's what we're working on. It's also to get, you know, obviously some 
um, fundraising done as well for kick off at three so that they can do more of these um, challenges um, and more of these um, activities in the future as well so more diverse things um, and just raise awareness of what um, the kick off at three organization is doing um, within local communities um, you know I think you can't you can't really lose with something like that and also going back to sort of the schooling stuff as well it's great for your mental well-being as well and as well as your physical well-being um, which ultimately has um, you know can have a profound effect on you um, within society uh, at school you know within work you know these all you know sleep everything it all adds in they're all sort of considerations um that you know sport i think can can you know achieve a lot through sport um ultimately and i you know i think it's great if kids can get involved so yeah hopefully we'll have a we are the champions or it's a knockout challenge coming to a pool near you soon <laughs> <laughs>